Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Slip Joint Sawyer here. Today we're going to be having a look at a Great Eastern Cutlery Knife. So have a quick look at the packaging to start. As you can see right off the bat, this is the toenail clipper. Traditional pocket knives made in Tidiotsville, 1095 carbon steel. For me personally, carbon steel is, yes it doesn't hold the best edge, but the, the fact that it, you know, it's so easy to maintain is the best for me. So you can see this really nice artwork on here. We've got the elephant on the background, which is the elephant toenail clipper. And if we look at the model number for this. You can see that is the 36 pattern with um, the three, which is the blade designation, the one blade and 22, meaning it's a 2022 made one. And you can see this is in the India jigged bone. As you can see, it comes in the standard, really nicely presented tube. And inside there, you know, it's just wrapped up in some bubble wrap and a bit of wax paper at the bottom. Really nice presentation from this. It does keep the knife really secure when it's arriving. Did come with a little pin as well, which is somewhere. I may have misplaced it. I think it's in my chest. I'd have to have a look. Pop the tube up there out of the way and we'll grab the knife. So here it is, number 36 pattern, the toenail clipper. Right off the bat, you can see that wonderful jigged or India jigged bone. See the grooves and the ridging in that. Really, really nice. Look at the colours of the of the bone. Got the, the deep brown in the in the grooves out to like the the lighter, more natural bone colour. And you have this wonderful like elephant style shield that's been like hand carved and it fits so perfectly in there flush no step in and the amount of effort and skill to get that to fit in there that way is, is just wonderful you can see you have the brass pin construction all sort of sunk down into the bone so you've got nothing sticking up over the top and then you have the i believe them to be nickel silver bolsters and you have to excuse the reflection and you can see there is little nicks on there but i do use all my knives so it's, they're not going to be in perfect condition on this channel so you can see they're all not sort of beaten up, but I do use all my knives. And take a look at the reverse. Again, you can see that really nice bone, deep ridge in, brass pins, transitions perfect as you would expect. Just look at the colours of that. For me, jig bone is, is the best handle material by far. It's natural, you know, you can work well with it and do so much with it. Take a look at the back of the back springs. Absolutely perfect. A little bit of patina coming on on this. And you can see dead down the centre as well with the perfect termination. There's a nail nick on here, but as you can see the amount of blades sticking out, you don't need to use it. So I would just pinch. And you can see you've got that really nice Sheep's foot, sort of ram's foot, but it's a little bit bigger here than it is down here. But you can see that, that really nice sort of between mirror and satin finish. And you can just about see the etch there, toenail clipper. It was quite prominent when I first got it, but obviously I've used it, cleaned the patina off. And I'm in the process of using it again. So it, it will eventually wear off. You can see the tang stamp there. You've got Tidute Cutlery, Tidutesville PA. Just wipe off that oil. Really nicely stamped in there. Nice even stamping. On the rear, 36 pattern, third blade designation, one blade 2022. And you've got the GEC and the CAR for carbon. Obviously, you can see this does have a half stop. Really nice sort of positive lockup. Really nice walk and talk on this. And for a GEC, I, I know a lot of people like to collect these and keep them nice, but it's a perfect sort of work knife. You know, you've got that, I'd say it's about a four inch handle. I will measure it. You can choke up here, no chance of it closing on you. And the blade you get to work with and the thinness behind the edge, you could get so much work done with this in a day. It's It's one of my favorites. Lovely construction on the inside. There is no stop pin on this, but you do have enough of a kick here to stop any sort of blade wrap. Just absolute wonderful knife. So we'll have a take, let's take a look at some measurements now. 
so you can see it is one two three four that's actually four and a quarter handle so quite a large sort of handle scales there and we'll take a look at the blade measurement so you can see here we have try and line it up one bang on maybe just a hair over the three inch mark but that is the full blade length and then the cutting edge you've got 2.75 or two and three quarters so easy uk legal knife for me you can see that nice sort of subtle swedging on the top there not too aggressive it's quite rounded over really nice clean nail neck and the swedging does start from quite far back on the blade same on the reverse really really nice you can see some patina coming on there as well just wipe off the blade and my grubby fingerprints all over it just overall a fantastic knife from GEC agreed it might not be everyone's cup of tea with the you know the equal ended sort of jack pattern but for the grip you can get on it and the amount of work you can do in the day I've not got the smallest hands Say I've got about a medium hand that you do you probably definitely get large hands on there easy you could even even sort of hold it back here to do sort of pull pull cuts which you can get your finger in that little groove to stop it closing at all you can definitely do a lot of nice work with this so there we go guys this is my overview of the 36 pattern the elephant toenail clipper from great eastern cutlery let me know in the comments what you guys think do you like the bone as much as I do because I love it Hope you all have a wonderful Bank Holiday Monday. I'll speak to you on the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out.